Hi ladies, we are doing one of my favorite things today, a handbag review. These are five of the hottest selling designer luxury bags. You probably see them all over Pinterest and you've wondered, I wonder what it looks like in person. I have all five of them. Some I really love, some I regret buying, and some are pretty good. I don't have a dog in the fight. I'm here to tell you what I think. I did touch very briefly on the Givenchy Hobo in a previous video, but my girl and Wedzie had several questions on it and I promised her that I would include it in this video. Okay, let's get started. Oh, quick side note, you guys, all of the links to every single one of these bags will be under in the video description so you can check them out at any time. Oh, I left most of my stuff in here, sorry. The Tom Ford Alex Tote. Quick side note, although Tom Ford has a lot of beautiful bags this season, he completely kills his sale by slapping on big, huge, dumb TF logos that look like a kindergarten font, or even worse, the obnoxious Tom Ford all over his bags. And so even though they're gorgeous, I had to remove from cart. We don't like big ass logos, do we? This is the small Alex Tote. Even though it's small, this is actually a perfect perfect size for me. I am five foot two, I'm very petite. This bag has a soft padded strap with an eight inch drop, a magnetic top closure. It does not have gold feet on the bottom. It does have the extra seam that gives it a little bit more of a luxurious feel. This is in a gorgeous, buttery, soft, luxurious pebbled leather. I love pebbled leather for a couple different reasons. One, I like the visual texture. I think it gives it a more decadent feel and it's much more durable. It's scratch resistant, tumble resistant, and it's very easy to travel with. This bag has an interior side zip pocket, very deep for all of your secured belongings, a detachable zippered pouch. I would use this on vacation if I don't wanna take my big huge bag. Maybe we're running down for coffee or brunch and I would just take something like this. I love the beautiful gold chunky zipper on the side and this gold padlock. This gives the bag that ultimate luxurious designer feel. What I love about this particular bag is that it hits the perfect note of understated luxury, understated chic. The chunky gold hardware gives it just that wink of, wow, that is a really nice designer bag. I've been stopped on the street several times with women saying, that is a beautiful bag. Who is that by? Now, the difference between the small, which I have here, and a large version. The large is 15 inches high versus 12, and 15.8 inches wide versus versus this one was just 13.8. This is my favorite of all five bags, heads up. Oh, one very, very important note. The color that they call silk taupe, I actually ordered that first. I sent it back and here's why. The color that it looks like online appears to be more of a pinky undertone, like a pinky nude. That is not what it is. And it was definitely like a muddy taupe color. This is such a good classic bag. It's a winner. Okay, number two. Stand by please. The Christian Louboutin Paloma Tote. This is a 4.5 inch drop, which obviously means it's a handheld. It does come with this gorgeous detachable cross body strap. They really paid a lot of attention to detail, which they should because of the price. Tote on one side, the underbelly in the classic Louboutin red, four beautiful feet on the bottom, red accent on the side. It has the Louboutin embossed name. You know that I don't love a lot of logos that screen Louboutin or YSL. I'm okay with it because it's tone on tone and it's not obnoxious. This is not a subtle bag. This is a head turning, oh my God, that is a gorgeous bag bag. Beautiful silver hardware that when it catches the light actually looks like jewels or diamonds. This does have a top zippered closure. It zips and there's your closure. Isn't that pretty? The attention to detail is the use of the red. This is 10 and a half inches tall, 12 and a half inches wide, and 5.8 inches deep. This is my second favorite bag. There's nothing that I would change about it. Okay, y'all, time for shout outs. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my girl, Miss Ann Smitley, and my girl, Miss M. Wedzi, who wanted to see more information on the Givenchy. This is the Bottega Veneta chain cassette bag. <sighs> Where to start with this? This is a beautiful bag. I regret buying it and here's why. It is very heavy. The chain, you can even hear it. 
And lest you say, yeah, but if it was a chintzy chain, you'd be complaining about that. Yeah, I probably would. It looks beautiful online. It looks beautiful in person. But for me, every time I go to wear it, I end up swapping it out for another bag because it's so heavy, it just feels clunky. This is the black, the silver chain. As with any Bottega Veneta, it is beautifully made. The leather is buttery and smooth and gorgeous. The Intrexiato weave is their classic signature weave. It has a flap closure. The inside of the bag has a side slip pocket and a zippered compartment as well for storage. If you don't mind the heaviness of the chain, it is a beautiful, beautiful bag. If I'm being completely honest, I regret buying the bag. It was very expensive and I rarely, rarely, if ever, wear it because of the weight of the chain. Probably seen this all over as well. This is the low flamenco bag. Oops, I still have a mask in it. <laughs> this is made of beautiful Napa leather. It has two drawstrings on the side to squish it like this. Zero branding whatsoever, which I do like. It looks cool, it looks subtle. Magnetic closure, crossbody option for hands free. This also came in a myriad of different colors and it also came in a much smaller version. I do like this bag. For me personally, it's ever so slightly plain for the price. I wanna say this was $2,500, but if you've been eyeing this online and you love the simplicity, the leather is buttery, it's gorgeous, it's very high quality. The drawstring sides with the little detail of knotting gives it a little extra flair. It is a beautiful bag, just bear in mind that it is plain. And last but not least, as promised, the Givenchy hobo bag. So in terms of measurements, about a foot wide from the bottom to the top of the strap, 16 inches. It does have a very nice clearance from the bottom to the top. So it's super simple to carry over your shoulder. I've also tried this on with a very, very puffy jacket. It is no problem whatsoever. It's a comfortable hobo. This bag does not have a formal closure. There is no zipper, there's no magnetic closure, there is no snap. However, the weight is such that it really acts as a closure. So when you flop it over, somebody's really not reaching in your bag and it does give an element of security. Four gold feet on the bottom, the Givenchy logo padlock. I love the element of the croc embossed detail on the back, on the strap portion and on the shoulders strap as well. Now, the one drawback to this bag, there is zero internal storage, zero. It is literally, as my sister and I call it, one big dumb bag. The bag is so beautiful, I bought it anyway. It also came in black, which is so gorgeous, and I would have bought it if I didn't have so many black bags. And also in the white with the silver accents, which I think I might get as well. Buttery, textured leather. I love the detailing with the different elements of the seaming on the side because it gives it that umptuous, round luxurious look. You've got about 11 and a half inches of clearance from the top of the strap to the top of the V, which is basically what you want to know if you're trying to decide if it's going to fit over your shoulder or with a jacket. There's no problem with it because of the deep V. If I had to buy it all over again, I absolutely would. The one drawback is that there is no internal organization. If that doesn't bother you, this is a great bag. Okay, y'all, those are my thoughts on the top five hottest selling bags at this juncture. If you have any questions, please comment below. Y'all know that I I always read them and I always answer your questions. And until a couple days from now, I'll see you later. Bye.